Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Graft. In today's video, I'm going to try to explain how the Graph Payment Platform is being developed to work very similar to traditional payment platforms, and why such development is Graph's greatest advantage over any other cryptocurrency payment solution. Now, as many of you already know, Graft is aiming at becoming the first global decentralized payment blockchain solution designed specifically for the point of sale. In order to achieve this goal, the Graph Payment Platform is adopting payment processing protocols and flows similar to traditional electronic payment systems. To understand why such adoption is crucial for the acceptance of Graft as a worldwide cryptocurrency payment solution, let's explore some of the characteristics that have allowed traditional payment platforms to gain dominance over the payment industry and how such characteristics translate to Graft. Now, one of the most important characteristics of a traditional payment platform is its ability to provide instant payments at the point of sale. If you're familiar with the world of banking and money transfers, you'd know that the process of transferring money from one bank to another to make a payment is too slow and not suitable for the point of sale. Traditional payment systems like Visa, MasterCard, or American Express have gained dominance over the payment industry by giving merchants the ability to accept payments at the point of sale instantly. They accomplish this by splitting the payment process into two parts, known as authorization and settlement. Authorization is the process by which the merchant is informed via the payment card network whether or not the buyer has the funds to make the purchase, and only takes about 3 seconds to confirm. The transaction is then completed during the settlement phase, which is where the merchant's payment processor acquires the funds on behalf of the merchant and normally takes about 24 to 72 hours. In a similar fashion, Graft has also implemented the idea of split payments, utilizing its second layer network of super nodes to authorize transactions, and its first layer of regular nodes and miners to settle transactions. Like on traditional payment platforms, Graft authorizations take about 3 seconds or less, and the settlement, which is based on Graft blockchain's block time, occurs within a few minutes. Now another important characteristic that Graft has chosen to adopt that is similar to traditional payment platforms is the fact that Graft charges fees to the merchant instead of the consumer when processing a cryptocurrency payment. This is the complete opposite of how traditional blockchain projects are currently designed to work, which charge the buyer instead of the merchant when making a payment. With traditional payment systems like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover, the merchant is the one responsible for paying the transaction fee, not the buyer. In a similar fashion, merchants utilizing Graft for the acceptance of cryptocurrency payments will also be the ones responsible for paying transaction fees and not the buyer. This is something that is very important to consider when thinking about the potential adoption of cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. If consumers and merchants are to adopt cryptocurrencies for use as a payment method, then paying with them should be done in a way that is more in line with traditional ways of making payments. Now another characteristic that differentiates Graph from other cryptocurrencies and is similar to traditional payment platforms is that it's designed to easily integrate with traditional point-of-sale systems. This means that Graph will allow merchants to easily connect to its network through its use of modern-day point-of-sale terminals, such as Verifone's Carbon Series terminals. By partnering with leading point-of-sale terminal manufacturers, Graph will provide merchants with easy access to Graph's network for cryptocurrency payment processing. Merchants will also have access to Graph's decentralized API, which will allow them to use any third-party point-of-sale terminal to gain access to Graph's network for cryptocurrency payments as well as various other services. This is something that is also very similar to traditional payment platforms, as Visa and MasterCard, for example, offer their network participants access to APIs to provide them with a wide variety of payment processing services. Now another Graph characteristic that resembles traditional payment platforms is that Graph offers the ability to process payments with a variety of different transaction types. Visa, for example, gives merchants the option of charging their customers with a transaction type known as pre-authorization. Pre-authorization lets merchants charge their customers for a purchase without either of them knowing the total amount of a transaction. This is something that is often the case when filling up at a gas station or when checking in at a hotel. Once the transaction amount is known, the merchant can then finalize the purchase by entering the final amount and completing the transaction. Pre-authorization is just one of many different transaction types that are possible on both traditional payment platforms as well as on the Graph payment platform. Graft, however, is the first fully decentralized payment platform to offer such transaction type capabilities. Some of these transaction types include placing or canceling holds, scheduling reoccurring payments, issuing refunds and or store credit gift certificate and store coupon redemption, and much more. 
Now, if you know a bit about the history of payment cards, you'd know that the original intent behind these cards was primarily to offer consumers credit, hence the name credit cards. Eventually, however, payment cards began to come in the form of not only credit, but also debit, which allowed consumers to pay for goods and services directly from the funds they had available at the bank. This is yet another similarity between Graft and a traditional payment platform like Visa. In the same way that people are able to obtain either a Visa credit or debit card, users of the Graft network will also be able to obtain Graft decentralized crowdfunded credit cards, as well as Graft cold storage debit cards. This will allow individuals who are not so technologically savvy to continue the use of payment cards while still manage to upgrade to this new financial world of cryptocurrencies. Also, Graft payment cards will not be limited to being offered simply by Graft, but may also be offered by financial institutions, such as banks, which is similar to the way traditional credit and debit cards are issued. Contrary to popular belief, Visa payment cards are not issued by Visa directly, but instead issued by issuing banks that are part of the Visa network. Banks may likewise choose to opt in to be part of Graft's network, allowing them to issue out Graft payment cards to any of their customers. Now the final characteristic that I'd like to point out that is similar to traditional payment platforms is Graph's ability to provide currency exchange services within its network. If you've ever traveled abroad and used your Visa card to make purchases, for example, you'd know that Visa automatically exchanges the buyer's currency into the merchant's currency automatically. This is yet another feature that is built into Graph that is similar to traditional payment platforms. Graph provides automatic currency exchange services within its network, allowing consumers to pay with whatever cryptocurrency they prefer, while also allowing merchants to receive payout in their preferred currency. This payout can be made in Graft, a different type of cryptocurrency, or even their local fiat currency. This feature is extremely useful when it comes to the acceptance of cryptocurrency payments by merchants, as it aids them in accepting cryptocurrencies without having to deal with any of the risk associated with their acceptance. Now, it's important to remember that the design and development of the Graph payment platform is being carried out by payment industry professionals with years of experience that know exactly what technologies to combine in order to make Graph easily adoptable by merchants worldwide. By adopting traditional payment processing protocols and flows similar to traditional electronic payment systems, Graft will enable a wide variety of credit and debit payment-like use cases for cryptocurrencies and allow individuals to transact with cryptocurrencies in a way they are most familiar with. I hope this video helped you to better understand how the Graph payment platform is being developed to work very similar to traditional payment platforms and what such development is Graph's greatest advantage over any other cryptocurrency payment solution. If you liked this video, please hit that like button, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Until next time though, this is all things Graph, signing off.